Hey everybody, Aaron Cowan, Sage Dynamics. This week's questions answered video, well, it's almost Christmas, so it's time for the bourbon video. This is the second annual bourbon video. Last year's bourbon video was pretty popular and I've gotten questions throughout the year about it, so uh, I like to try new bourbons. I'm a big bourbon fan. In fact, I pretty much stopped drinking beer. Uh, it's kind of sad that me and Guinness have parted ways, um, but I just prefer bourbon. I guess maybe I've grown up or something. I don't know if age has anything to do with that. But uh, I am a bourbon connoisseur, whiskey connoisseur. Um, so let's see what's new for this year. Blanton's is still my go-to. This is my kind of special occasion, special treat bourbon. Obviously it wouldn't be an everyday bourbon. I don't drink bourbon every day. Uh, but it's not my just run of the mill, want to drink and relax uh, drink. It's kind of a special occasion kind of thing because it's getting harder and harder to find because it's more popular. Uh, and the price point definitely means that you should probably shouldn't be just handing this stuff out like a uh, high C. Recently discovered Blade and & Bow and it is amazing. In fact, it's really hard for me to tell as a Laban bourbon slash whiskey drinker. I don't profess to be any kind of expert on bourbon. Um, I don't turn my nose up at certain bourbons based on their ratings and magazines or anything like that because I don't read bourbon magazines. Uh, but very, very close to the taste and the aftertaste of Blanton's. Neat on rocks or in say an old fashioned. So pretty cool. Uh, I would definitely check this one out if you're a bourbon person and you want to try something new. Been seeing a lot about Larceny. Finally tried it. I like it. Pretty good. Don't really have anything else to say about it than that. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be in my constant rotation. Uh, I've gotten to the point now where I've tried so many different bourbons. I'm kind of sticking to like three go-to bourbons and then one rotating bottle of what's new to see if it's any good. You can never go wrong with Basil Hayden's. Bullet is... I guess my house is well uh, bourbon, um, whiskey, really, bourbon whiskey, whatever you want to get into the semantics about that. But I've always been a big fan of bourbon, um, and that's because of Bullet. Uh, Bullet's kind of how I got into bourbon and whiskey. Um, some people don't care for it. I don't care for people who say that because I, I will defend Bullet to the death. Uh, I don't like the rye because I'm not just a big rye fan, even though there is a higher rye content in Bullet than there is in others. So that's kind of weird, but I contain multitudes. So I'm allowed to kind of feel that way because, you know, my opinion. Uh, but yeah, Bullet is a good place to go, especially since it's very, very reasonably priced. The 10 year is amazing, and I would say their 10 year, still reasonably priced, is comparable with a lot of your higher end bourbons. It costs two or three times as much. Throughout the year, I've tried a couple bourbons that were awful. Um, and I wanted to pick the worst one uh, for this video, so I can tell you, in my opinion, what to stay away from. Some people in California thought that they could do uh, whiskey and they were horribly, horribly wrong. I don't know if this is some Napa Valley mentality, like, hey, we can make wine, we could probably do whiskey too. This tastes like charred barrel mixed with poverty and burnt rubber. It's, it's just terrible, it's awful. Um, it shouldn't be consumed by anyone, uh, it should just be thrown in the trash. This is probably the worst uh, liquid that's meant to be ingested non-toxic that I've actually put in my mouth in my life, and as a child, I probably drank antifreeze. So yeah, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't just stay away from this. Just go ahead and forget it exists. That doesn't look like anything to me um, because it's, it's terrible. And if you don't believe me, if you really don't believe me, buy a bottle, but just bear down because the first sip is maybe one of the worst experiences of your life. So that's where I'm at on bourbon this year. Uh, look forward to uh, this video again next year. If you have any other questions about bourbon, um, or any questions in general that you'd like to see me answer in a questions answered video, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. I'm Aaron Cowan with Sage Dynamics. Drink bourbon accordingly. <laughs>